Hey guys, Nikki here, and this vlog will be brought to you by Fit Beast Back Roller. I was sent three different sizes, and let's do an unboxing first. Let's talk about the biggest of all three. There are two sides, if you guys can tell. So this side right here is a little bit harder for a massage and when you're in pain. And then you can roll it around to this side right here that's a lot softer for a relaxing effect. There's a line right here in the middle for your spine. I really love that they put this right here in the middle and it's not like constant bubbles because this allows alleviation of pressure on your spine if it was just straight grooves your spine wouldn't catch a break so that's what that is for right here. we have the teeny tiny one and this one is more for a massage type feel to me so right now we're going to move to the medium so these are made in the U.S. so they're very accessible. The material is very good and I would recommend this one more in my opinion for right here. This is probably one of the easiest ones. The big one you got to put in some work but oh my gosh did you guys hear my back cracking. You literally just put it right here. Get in on the action. Perform way better too. My chi is too big. <laughs> it worked on it. Yeah. It popped it. Yeah. Let's pop some more. That's too long. You like the which you like the middle one better? Yeah, that's so I really like is you can use them as often or as frequent as you like if you work out a lot these are very very good post workout I was in a car wreck and I have neck and back and shoulder aches and I can use this with no problems and it alleviates a lot of their pressure off of my back helping my neck and my shoulder to feel a lot better this is a great way to recover from being sore and guess what else it do guys it allows great blood circulation and we all know that that is a major part in key health to get that blood circulating so what i will make sure i do is leave a direct link to fit beast below along with the discount code remember anybody up to 800 pounds can use these they are very user friendly they do not slip as you guys can see it didn't roll off and leave me and make me hit my head or anything like that on any type of surface and i absolutely love these my whole family used them so i will make sure i leave all of the links below and don't forget to check them out hey yeah uh, it's your little auntie looking real dry face but i don't have nothing on my face because i'm going to get a facial but but I at least need to put some on my lips. Mm-hmm. Ooh, now nah, I gotta put some on my face. They just gotta take it off. 
So, it's really up to the one that looks dressed like to you for her age, but I'm still real, real lit. We're about to get going. We're preparing to go on Shug's graduation trip to Cosmel. All right, so we were going to go straight to Jamaica, but her passport did not come in time. So, I had to book something for my baby. <laughs> something. We can go to Jamaica right when we get back, but at the time, I just panicked and booked the first thing that she can get on, which is a cruise. So, we're going to Cosmel. Go start off in Galveston, of course. Have a little fun on the beach and go on the Cozumel. This is the Dior Lip Oil. It is the clear one. It's just pink because obviously I had some red lipstick or something on my lips. Y'all didn't get it out. And dip, dip, dip. And now it's pink looking. So here's our schedule for today. We are going to pick up our groceries. If you watched my last vlog, honey, they stole my groceries. 30,000 compliments today, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. I ended up just having to get a refund. I did. Who steals groceries nowadays? Time's hard, but God, hey, why make me the, the... And so, they refunded me for them, but it was some things I needed for the cruise, like juice and soda and stuff. So, I had to place another order this morning, but that worked out better because when they refunded me, they gave me a credit, too. So, I was able to order all those same groceries. I was able to order all those same groceries and then use the coupon they gave me for them stealing them the first time. So I got them for $30 this time. Um, also, we're going to get a facial. We're going to get our feet painted. And I have physical therapy today for my shoulder. So that's today's agenda. We are not starting a new perfume tray this week because I won't be here. So that's pointless. I'm just taking my travel perfume that I keep in my kit all the time. So our perfume tray is the exact same. The couple of days we will be here this week. So I will list it below. You have Juice Box Cyrus and Salem's. Zerjoff Dama Bianca. This is Juniper Night Nor. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce this, y'all, but I'm about to try. La Vie de Milano is like Jergens Cherry Almond Scent. La Tafa Yara. This is Bum Bum by Victor and Roth. And this is Sweet Dreams by House of Siage. So I've tried all of these right here. So we just got these two to go, all right? So today we're just going to put on this um, Victor and Roth Bum Bum. I think that is the name of this. Child, I don't even know. Oh, shit. We're just putting this on because we're just running errands. This supposedly has peach in it, and you guys know I'm a peach girl. But I can't figure out if I like it or not. Right, my cap too, child. So, we're going to figure it out today. Y'all ready? I just got y'all a full one now. I don't have on nothing but this shirt I got made when I went to the Beyonce concert. All that spray on me and my new Libra legging shorts. Thank you guys for selling them out. Restock soon. <clears throat> and my Crocs. Yeah, I know I love my Crocs. So, nothing on my head. Sugar, do my hair when we get back tonight or tomorrow. That's going to be a separate video. It's dedicated. Let's go. But first, because sis is dry. Very much so. Oh, don't fall, don't fall. I'm gonna just get this oil right here. <laughs> Another thing, I was gonna sell this, but I was like, I'm gonna just try to take it back to Sephora. But I don't know if they'll take it back because I don't have the box anymore. But since I'm going, it's worth trying. Very much so, because I hate it. Y'all told me I got the wrong version. Um, Y'all said I should have got the white bottle. I don't even trust that because I hate this one so much. So the next time I'm in the cosmetic company store, I will smell the white bottle. Oh, I can smell the white bottle today. I'm tripping. God, I asked 1041. I got to come back by the house anyway. Let's go. I'm always in such a... Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Because that's really the only time I pick the camera up, you know. And it's like, every time I pick the camera up, I'm going somewhere. And so, I'm trying to hurry up and go fast because I'm supposed to be somewhere. Do it make sense to y'all? Or am I just crazy? Alright, guys. So, I'm going to try something new. One of you guys who I absolutely love suggested this. And I absolutely love when you guys give me suggestions. Even though I feel like I shouldn't even have to do this, but... 
like I said, anything is worth a try. So one of you guys was like, maybe since I have a lot of new followers that um, I should explain like some of the stuff I've been through um, so people will understand why my anxiety and depression come off as anger and crankiness and complaining. And at first I was like, I ain't explaining a thing. That's the old platinum attitude. Like I really felt like I shouldn't have to, but because people should sympathize with people and just know that or research like I I don't know so anyway I, I hate when people tell me that I don't know why y'all say anything to her she don't listen to anybody because that's not true I listen to construction constructive criticism and stuff all day really there's nothing to construct this is a life cha style channel this is my life like what is it to construct about my life but um I do listen to it very well I just don't listen to hate it's a big difference it's a big ass difference so anyway they told me that like but they told me that I should explain or uh, talk about some of the things that happened to me but what am I supposed to do that every vlog do you get what I'm saying so just in case there has been a plethora yeah I heard it it's my brakes dragging there has been a plethora of things that have happened to me over these three years since the pandemic and even if it didn't happen to me it happened to someone around me that affected me right so in since the pandemic lord jesus i could just write a dang book from 2020 to now it has been so much that happened so i'm just gonna do a quick some synopsis <laughs> really really quick because you know you know I feel like if you like me you like me if you don't you don't I really feel like the people who portray like they don't or who leave the mean comments and stuff it's some they like because they still be watching baby they'll come in on something that happened that the video will be hour long they'll come in on something that was at 48 minutes so y'all sit there a long time before y'all decide to talk trash but um the pandemic shook us so okay anyway my dad got stomach cancer during the pandemic. I didn't know at the time that I had parasites. I just knew that I was really sick all the time. Didn't have any energy. Was very, very, very tired all the time. I, I remember like crying, taking care of my daddy because I would be so sick and so weak, but who else was gonna do it? I remember getting into it with Nicole because she would like schedule studio sessions and stuff. And I'm like, dog, you see I'm over here struggling. Why would you do that when you can help me with my daddy? And my daddy was literally, he got um, six feet of his intestines cut out. That drastic, yeah, I think it was. And so my daddy was literally like just throwing up all day, every day. He had just had surgery. So it would be so intense cause his stomach was cut open. And so I was like cleaning up, throw up nonstop. Hopping up in the middle of the night, calling 911. Like, and I would be so tired crying. And I didn't know at the time that I was dealing with parasites. So I started out, I couldn't breathe and stuff one day. And so I got rushed to the emergency room. They thought I had COVID, which I still think I had COVID. They thought I had COVID and um, turns out they told me that I had a condition called GERD, which is gastric esophagus reflux disease. So it's basically um, acid reflux time 10. You get heartburn, acid reflux, uh, indigestion every time you eat anything, water, like it's crucial. I hate it. And so they put me on this medication. And so while I was on this medication, that, that transitioned into me getting an abscess on my side. That wasn't healing, so I kept having to go back to the doctor and then they wouldn't even see me, y'all, because the COVID cases had got so high. So they literally had to like send me an instruction on how to pull my own drain out, stuff my own drain and everything. And I'm like, why is my body not healing? You get what I'm saying? So anyway, that transitioned to a whole bunch of other stuff. I lost my hair, damn near lost my vision. I lost damn near 100 pounds, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It took nine months for them to figure out that this was not GERD and I had parasites eating me up, which turned, which made me have GERD, H. pylori, God, blah, 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 blah. So I had to go through a two week treatment 
after that two-week treatment i lost more weight because my stomach just like done right now they stripped my stomach basically and so i had to fight to like i was eating potatoes every day so i wouldn't be stick thin thank god i can eat now and i'm getting my weight i've gained 12 pounds back since all that where the heck am i going oh yeah 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 so anyway but in the midst of all of that my spouse lost their dad their grandma their sister their uh, mom got breast cancer my spouse got COVID twice in the midst of all that my son got murdered and don't nobody know the hell see I'm about to cry talking about this because I don't understand why I gotta explain all of this to a lot of people who don't really know me but y'all are getting so mean and not understanding the shit that I've been through these past three years like prior to my son getting murdered we was living in hell over here because my son wouldn't listen so i wasn't even talking to him anymore like stay the fuck away from over here if you're gonna be doing all that extra shit in the streets and so that led to me having to like buy all this security stuff for my house train everybody how to shoot in the house even my daughter who was 16 at the time like i went through hell over here plus i was getting stalked by my next door neighbor had to get a restraining order on him because he was stupid and infatuated with me and wouldn't leave me alone. Like he was just flat out. <sighs> Trent, fast forward, my next door neighbor and his son end up murdering somebody outside in the yard, in our face, just the same one that I got a restraining order on. So not only did I witness a freaking murder, the murderer was somebody who I got a restraining order in on just imagine what that did to my anxiety. Like this is even overwhelming talking about. Because like I said, it's not the fact that, because everybody has been through stuff these three years. And then I really, really hate when people be like, well, that must be so. Someone actually said to me that this must be my karma for how I talk to them over them begging me for money or a free wig. And I don't talk to nobody roughly, but if I say no, y'all don't like that. Like, y'all make it seem like we're obligated to give y'all stuff, and we're not. So, fast forward, my daughter just turns into this completely different person. I had this outgoing, um, top of the class, top of the track team, top of the everything and now my daughter don't want to do nothing she's dropping out of track behind my back she's dropping out of this she's she's just a totally different person i let her make it for a long time because she was grieving my daughter even barely graduated like i was literally up at the school non-stop like putting her in problems taking her out of this da -da -da -da. on top of that one of the my daughter shut down so my daughter is very smart you guys have been with me for a minute she got awarded like the top um she um the the test whatever the test the schools be making them kids take she only missed one question on that mug so she got honored got badges and everything so my daughter is nowhere near dumb but she um shut down so one day she was in class and the teacher asked her something he didn't like her answer and he told her how does it feel to know that a slave is smarter than you And the whole class started laughing and shit so he made her and this was like two months after her brother died baby i went up to that school in my mumu because who you got fucked up is me and i told his ass that i said how the fuck you teaching kids and you can you you that's how you talk to pizza my he got frustrated because he knows she better than that and he just got frustrated i said so how are you teaching kids and you can't even control your frustration you get what I'm saying? So anyway, that blew all the way out of proportion. Where I, oh, they they came through quick today. Hey, hey, uh, how you doing? Fine in the back seat. Yesterday somebody stole my groceries. Print line for real? Yeah. Oh shoot, that messed up. <laughs> Thank can, you. Can you get your money back? For yeah, me? they gave my money back. Okay. Nah, I'll be somewhere for to be somebody up there with me. <laughs> quick, that was sweet. Oh, cause they track your location, and so he he saw me pulling up. Okay, so in the midst of going through all of this with my daughter and all of this, I, I've i still been out back and forth to the hospital because all of that threw me into early menopause, which is now I'm post-menopause. And I have no estrogen, no progesterone. Y'all came with me to the doctor. The doctor said I got the hormone level of a 78-year-old woman. 
meaning all of my woman issues and all that gone and but they won't put me well i my primary won't let me get on hormone therapy because they cause breast cancer a proven fact and i have a deep all my aunts and my mom died from breast cancer um it's something i got one aunt that's like my mom that's still living she had breast cancer but she's still alive so i can't get on hormones so every day i'm battling this this pain this nauseous this dizziness on top of grief on top of working non-stop i never stopped working guys like i never stopped even when my son passed away i took six weeks off and then i felt like i had to, to get back to work or i was gonna just I was gonna be out of there. I actually I didn't have a choice. If y'all watch my vlogs, I laid in the bed all day, every day in my phone, just glazing out my window. And then all of a sudden a red bird annoyingly started tapping at my window all freaking day for like a week straight until I got up. And guess what happened when I finally got up and picked up the camera again to get back to work? I ain't seen that red bird since. And I know that red bird specifically because it was chunky. I was like, where this chunky bird? It was like a little fat bird, for real. So, I have been through a lot. But you know what, though? I thought that I would be a testimony. I thought that I would be motivation. Like, people would be like, God dang, this girl just keep getting hit. But she's steady going. But that has turned into a lot of hate because I voice what I'm going through on camera. So anyway, that's that. I said I was gonna make it short and I have been talking 12 minutes. Golly, let me get this stuff to the house, y'all. Get some gas and get on and get my facial because I'm gonna shop around Sephora because I met Jackie again, Danessa again, um, and Fumi last night. All my booze was there, Fab Fives by Kidra, uh, Bridget Harrison, Nita, Nita, I love Nita. She's so pretty. I love her um her fashion, her Amazon fashion advice and stuff. They were all there and guys, I am so blessed. I was someone reached out to me specifically to cover it. So, I didn't have to stand in line. I got like all the perks. Everybody who was with me got all the perks and it's just a blessing because yeah, it's just a blessing. I don't take anything for granted. For granted, I sat up there and watched Fumi. She was nervous as heck, but she killed the panel. She hosted the panel because Fumi is also a therapist. Um, and she was so nervous, but to me, she killed it. Like, and that's that's black girl magic right there, goals. Like Danessa and Jackie both started as influencers, makeup artists, and they have such beautiful personalities to me off camera and on camera you know what i'm saying because everybody is not like that in person i probably probably all in my history of being an influencer i probably met like three four influencers that really act like they act on camera everybody else their personality is just different and i'm not saying that in a negative way not saying it in a negative way but someone can be very outgoing and bubbly and stuff on camera and then in person they real shy or they just different so anyway jackie go put people on whether people feel like she do or not jackie silently shouts people out on twitter in her videos on her insta stories and stuff all the time same as danessa <clears throat> but that's what i aspire to be like they're 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 beautiful on camera and off in my opinion if you think otherwise please don't voice it in the comment because i don't play that when i like somebody and i fuck with somebody don't come in my comments talking trash about them it's unnecessary so because you're not going to change my opinion i still like them so anyway we're um that sums up everything i've been through really i should be back in therapy but therapy scratches the surface for me a lot and i'm not ready to do that like when i leave therapy i be angry because why did you make me bring this back up why do we got to talk about this like i'm one of them out of sight out of mind type people but that's not good for me because clearly that projects when i get irritable or angry in the midst of all that i forgot to tell you my marriage was rocky it still is rocky but the, the 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 thing about it is i don't front it's a lot of people on the internet be making it seem like peaches and cream vacations and this and this and this and now they don't even like each other the only the difference is me and nicole show the real life marriage we're not faking for the camera okay 
So that should be goals for y'all. Not goals. That should be like I'm, I'm really teaching y'all how to cope with this stuff because I do. Me and Nicole do not hate each other. Nicole is actually my best friend. Literally, my best friend. Like I get social anxiety if I'm not with Nicole. But that. But our marriage is still rocky. So that's what I be wanting people to understand. She gonna be my dog no matter what. But that don't mean our marriage is, is meant. You get what I'm saying? So that's what we're trying to balance now. Like, is this worth fighting for marriage-wise? Or we just gonna be best friends, favorite cousins or something. You know what I'm saying? But that's... Let's see the here or there. Oh, yeah, I wish I could show y'all. Anyway... We're 15 minutes in, 16 minutes in, y'all. Well, we done took up the whole vlog. See, that's why I don't want to get into this. But now you know. Now you know. <laughs> so I'm not I'm I'm not a cranky person, y'all. Actually, everybody from high school and stuff know me as sweet Nikki, but I've been through some shit these last couple of years, so ain't shit sweet. <laughs> and I'm post menopause. Wait till you get there. Wait till you get there. Just wait. Uh-huh. Watch your ass gonna be running. Nicole even said, baby, let me tell you something. I'm going straight hormone therapy. I don't give a dang what they say, cows. Hormone therapy. She said, because I'm not going through all this should be going through. Yeah, I literally wake up in the middle of the night and I just be crying. And Nicole be like, what is wrong? I just be like, I'm just so hot. Oh, my shoulder just, it's, it's a pain running. Every time I doze off, something wakes me back up. Like, and Nicole be like, and then I just doze off and sleep the rest of the night. It's hell. And then it's like nobody thought that was what was wrong with me because they say I'm too young. But my whole family started going through menopause at 35, 30. And this is a 12-year process. You got perimenopause, right, where you start skipping periods or prolonged periods. You got the actual menopause where you you going through it, your estrogen and stuff is locked, your blood levels are changing. And then you have post-menopause. Now, what takes you from menopause to post is when you go... 12 consecutive months without a cycle i've went 30 months without a cycle now no i haven't 24 25 25 months so yeah i'm way in postmenopause. so yeah let's get these groceries home and let's get to get our facial we're here i got a visitor <laughs> and so let's go guys um facial let's sit there please return this perfume but i just sprayed it twice this is probably one of my favorite sephora's oh and then i'm gonna get that yummy vanessa yummy skin i didn't get it yesterday because whoo the line to make a purchase was out of this world but i'm gonna try to get it today let me put my camera up because sephora be kind of tripping sometimes so I waited too late to bring that foundation back, so they won't take it back. I'm too pissed. I mean, not foundation, perfume. So we're gonna sit here and get our facial. Oh. <laughs> here we go, guys. <laughs> Baby, it's the glow. Wait till I get it out of the sun, but. Say a five minute. Okay. Yeah, what she told us that I did not know. You learn something new every day. Sephora is owned by who? Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton, yeah. She said, so that's why you can't record in them. Because it's kind of like you can't record it. Okay, hold on. Y'all finna get the skin. Oh, oh. Oh, hold on. Where the sun at? Mm, hold on. So that's why you can't record in there. Kind of like you can't record. Oh, sorry. You dropped your phone. You can't record in Louis Vuitton because... They used to say because of the collaborations with the influencers and etc. But it's really because they own by Louis Vuitton and they don't want y'all in their case and they're still like make a right down this aisle, go straight to the perfume, shoot out this way. Which honestly I feel like you can do that stuff without a camera if you a thief. But my camera about to die. Gotta go. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all I did get the Danessa Myrix Yummy Skin Serum. I didn't get it yesterday because the line was long to check out, so I waited to get it today. Yeah, while we at Bank of America trying to cash her graduation check, and they got one teller, and they sent them to lunch. What? At least what just happened. Yeah, so another 18-wheeler 
turning all crazy like they ain't got no same exact color as the one that hit me right I said I would have got out and whooped his ass today. I'm sorry. Got Pistol whip, bro. Like on <laughs> God, cause I would have been so frustrated. But let's go. We gotta go. All right, she rich. Stop playing with her. So we go hit the Starbucks so she can buy me some breakfast. <laughs> we just gonna take a stroll, even though it's probably 200 degrees out here, sugar. We gotta get it. We gotta get it in our system because guess what? We gotta get used to it. Yes, we finna have to walk the bridge from the boat to the Kent Cozumel port. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's too hot. All we did was walk to the car. Look how much my frozen drink melted. We got us a hookup in there, don't we? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, everybody over around here. So they they was like, don't ever pay for nothing right. I was like, but I needed to use my points anyway, because they go expire tonight. But note it. It's a play. Hair gallery, cause sugar's gonna rebraid our own hair and shoe deal to finish off getting stuff for the trip. So yeah, I was asking Suge, did she watch that vlog where I was talking about how people used to call her, Nicole, and everybody ugly back in the day. That's why I started keeping them off my channel. And she was like, yeah, and you reminded me to tell y'all about why somebody at Suge's school was looking up my files, hey, to see how much I make off of YouTube. And her own friend snitched me. That's why you got to be careful who you call your friend. She went home and was like, girl, Platinum D daughter go here. And I looked on her file to see how much she make or whatever. And her friend was like, I felt like that was so wrong and came right home and told me. Did I get that lady fired? No, because I don't ever want nobody to lose their job. But that's just the extent people go through. I'm going to search for my daughter. Because <laughs> what? Because what? Did y'all? There she go. Did y'all see Jonathan reveal this store? <laughs> I'm gonna go on over the shoe deal, y'all. We're gonna kill two birds with one stone. I think they got the ox, because they're not crocs. I already charmed out, y'all. Okay, bye. I'm going to shoe deal. Baby, I had to get out of there because I will start picking up stuff I don't even eat. Like I'm gonna do in here. Can't do it in both stores. And can't. Just gonna go to the camera bye. Because my battery is low. Girl, look at these purses with the little booty. I don't need no shades. Honestly, I got brand new ones I need to just pack. Like, designer. But I'm go look. Yeah, I was smelling good, but I went to the restroom and refreshed and put on Dama Bianca. I'm sorry, I gotta get that. The real one, not the Amazon dupe, because it is beautiful. Let me check out the sale while then I'm out of here. Nothing sticking out today, thank God. So we're gonna head to the house. I'm gonna shower so I can go to physical therapy because I ain't gonna know. I don't know what they're gonna have me doing up in here on a treadmill or something. Guys, remember that last vlog? I got that package from Chris Collins and didn't know whether to show it. I'm sure glad I didn't. Here's my message. This is Chris Collins, and by now most of you should have received your package for the upcoming anima collection masterclass all right guys the camera died i'm at physical therapy right now my blood pressure is normal she's gonna come in and go for my mris and stuff with me i'm debating on getting a shot today i really want it but we leave in two days and i don't want my body to react negative in any kind of way and i'm on a cruise ship so i'm thinking it would just be smarter to get it when i get back but I'll just wear the patches until then because I'm having some numbness going on right now, honestly. I'll just be keeping it pushing, y'all. All right, y'all. So we're going to try on some Shein stuff really, really quick. This is all like lounge, not lounge, but like throw on type wear. I'm going to pack it like daytime stuff for a cruise or something. Matching shorts, mm -mm, matching shorts <laughs> and tops, you know, really simple little outfits. I will make sure I link all of the outfits below and a discount code, so let's get to it. I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to... Mm, 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 work. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Here's the first set. It has these ribbed legging shorts that's a navy blue this gray t-shirt with blue writing this is an extra large and these kind of sets i need to always do a large because my legs and stuff are so small but it's just plain you put it on with some tennis shoes a t-shirt and you out the door 
I got another set like this because I got some new balances that are gonna go perfect with it. So let's go. Same exact set. It's gonna go perfect. I got some shoes just to like throw on, run errands, that kind of stuff. Gotta show y'all a variety. We're gonna slay, we're gonna be casual, we're gonna be comfortable, we're gonna do club. Shen has everything. I'm sorry, I had to take a brief intermission. Some drama done popped off in my daddy church. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, anybody can get the smoke up my daddy. Okay, so this is the top. Cute, right? I'm gonna wear this with one of those skirts I really, really like. They're open in the front, probably like an olive green one. Now that skirt, now honey, this skirt is short. And don't mind the, the fupa. I ain't putting on no shaper, I'm so sorry. I don't know. Cause maybe somebody I deal with be trying to check me. <laughs> yeah, no. So here's another two piece. It's an extra large. That floral top was a um, 1X and that skirt was an extra large. That skirt was a little bit too big, but if I go any smaller, it's gonna be too short. So this is another, like one of those sets I love to wear. It's just ribbed. Super cute. It's just plain and ribbed. Just gonna give y'all this because I can't zip it. And Sugar's dyeing her hair, so she can't help. It's purple. It's ribbed as well, just like the set I just took off. And it's a one piece. Wish I had a little bit more sleeve, but I can deal with it. Yeah, I can deal with it. That black two piece set I just showed you, here's the same set in nude. And this is more like a clinging material versus those first sets I showed you. So put on some slides or crossbody, going on out the dough, honey. Got me a plain white shirt, baby, crisp white shirt, okay? One X, cause I have to go up cause of my breasts. Got this tennis skirt, it's denim. It's short set the back, but it's too little, y'all. Next, it's the extra large. Ain't no stretch, nothing. It won't, I barely, mm -mm. And guys, this is just a plain t-shirt. And it say, I match energy. So how we gonna act today? Period. <laughs> Links will be below. So guys, remind me to tell the makeup channel, but this do break me out. Y'all see them little hive like thingies? No ma'am. Great, 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 great product. It's just not for me. This is a full bottle. So Maggie today recommended that I get the I could just kick myself. That's the menopause brain. Be right back. But first, first a little sugar. Yeah, I know where this gonna go. My baby down on her, so she might not want to be on camera. No way. Go sit that back right there. My mic did not work for my makeup channel either. So I'm about to wrap all this stuff up and send it back to Amazon. Ooh. And I'ma just use this camera until I figure it out. She said if it's the tacky consistency I love, which it is, Urban Decay. And I'm like, I'm on Urban Decay PR. Have they sent me that before? But mm -mm. Girl, I'm going though. Look at that forehead and that nose. It look like eye skin. What they call it? Glass skin. Stop playing with me. So we're gonna try this packing hack so I can put this in my suitcase just like this and just hang it up when I get to my destination. I'll pack. Now let's see if this go how it went on the TikTok. So we're gonna see if this go how it say it's gonna go, and I don't think so. Supposed to, hold on, let me get the hooks, guys. So first things first, let's make sure the hooks are in here. Where did I put the other two? Three, four, we're just gonna sit them over here to the side. Can we see? Oh yeah. I'm gonna scoot it over. And you're supposed to be able to just put this in here. Uh-uh. They lied to us, y'all. Oh, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> it just, oh my gosh, and I still have room. Oh my gosh. 
It worked. <laughs> and there you have it, guys. With my cruise tag. I will link these below too. These are cruise tags. It has your room number and your name and stuff on them. And I'm just going to use this as a shower. You're today. proofing. <coughs> this is my favorite hat, but it won't stay snapped anymore. Fluffy, I've literally brush. been having this hat since my sophomore year, which year did my mom pass away. Because no I remember, business, so sorry, I'm proofing my makeup channel video to go live. Powder waste. foundation routine. Head on over and business, watch it. So. Well, my mom passed, of course, I came across a lot of money. She loved me and my brothers a lot of money. And then I was like young, responsible. Child, I was so rich. <laughs> like, now that I look back at it, I had, like, so much money. Then I got into this world where I was, like, dating strippers and stuff. And got, got, basically. Let me switch this cap. So, I said I let to say I went through this thing where I was always wearing Gap. It was the three Gs. Gap, Gucci, and what was the other one, child? I guess. I used to be the three G girl. Girl. And I got this hat. Mm -hmm. I did. 2021. Oh, nope. 2001. So this hat is over 22 years old. My God. And, that, and let me tell y'all what happened. I used to call it my magic hat if you've been watching me a long time. And I, I was just throw it on, throw it on, throw it on. So I finally washed it and now it won't snap. Anyway, we're going to the doctor. What's new here? So if you are new here, I'm not a hypochondriac, y'all. I had a wreck. Got hit by an 18-wheeler. We are doing Sweet Dreams. House of Siach. This has, is this the one with peach? This has, the main note is peach. Um, I was hit by 18 wheeler May 2nd. So you're going to see me going to the doctor a lot these last few MRI, nerve doctor, physical therapy. You're going to see me doing that a lot because I was hit by 18 wheeler. But this is my regular doctor appointment. I go every six months. Like normal checkup because they just have to make sure everything flowing smooth from menopause that smells it's something in it i don't like i can't figure i can't determine what it is what it smell like what is that got a bite at the end this was good yesterday. So, um, I might just keep this for the bottle. But the juice ain't hidden to me. Let's try the other one. Cream chiffon. Same exact bottle except it's yellow. Cause baby, that ain't. Cause baby, no man. That ain't gonna give me the you smell good factor. It ain't. Um. Mm, yeah, that was better. See, I be getting these fragrances because they have peach in them, and depending on what they mix it with, I don't like it. Mm hmm. That was way better. Let's go. Man, I love. Thank you, God, for me finding her. I see her every single time and she, her bedside manners is just impeccable she literally be listening and you can tell because sometimes you can say context clues <laughs> or you can say certain stuff and then come back another time and then she'll still remember it or be like well did you ever from this or did you that's how you know people be listening to you but um she said everything looking good but she did take some blood child because when i had the wreck and that blood work was off everything was high protein this 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 but she said they could have been from inflammation so she just trying to be sure honey i said lord people gonna think i'm a goddamn hypochondriac 
But hell, I'm getting old. This menopause is something else, y'all. I'm going to just tell y'all like I already told y'all. If you go through menopause or... Because what it was is I was young, so they didn't think I was going through menopause. And so I suffered for years. I was watching Sharika B video. And I, went, I just started crying for her because I knew how she felt. It was like times when like I went to the Sally Beauty event. I was bleeding so hard that she was gushing out like water. I couldn't even take bad tubs by the time i sat in there and got the washcloth the bad tub was full of blood like nicole was cleaning up behind me non-stop i would have to wear a pad and a tampon and change every 20 minutes and i'm going through all this and they just like fibroids this they just guessing whole time i was perimenopause nobody did blood work to check like the y'all got it. you actually gotta go in there now and tell these doctors half the time what you want rent or what you want check but um purpose of me saying all that was i have been going through this for a minute and didn't know it with this menopause stuff like i remember being in la with robin bleeding uncontrollably it was just like going on with my day what can i do change my page change my it's just uncomfortable and we go through so much as women but yeah the point of me saying I live was if you can and if you do not have a family history of of um, cancer, get on hormones. Please don't put your body through this. This is so miserable, y'all. So miserable. Please do not put your body through this. Please don't. Please don't. Please run and tell them, please give me hormone therapy. I'm telling you right now, I was watching this one older white lady and she was suicidal. Like her daughter flew in from somewhere else and like made her go to the doctor because she didn't even know who her mom was anymore. And that lady got on hormone therapy and was perfectly fine. Like, I'm gonna I'm link the video right here in my cards. She said, I think the title was like, menopause, I thought menopause was killing me or I thought I was dying or something like that because she just could not figure out what was wrong with her. Whole time it was menopause. So anyway, we finna go get our toes painted, but watch that movie. You have no openings. I should have went and got Suge, y'all, but she braiding her hair. Let me tell y'all something. We gonna call this vlog car chat. Let me tell y'all who I love. Y'all wanna guess it's a new, it's a new rapper. It's a female. <laughs> Sexy red. I don't care what y'all say. Let me tell you something. It's something when you can be your true, authentic self and make it. Do you understand me? That is rare in this industry. So let me tell you what made me like her so much because everybody speaks so highly of her. Like they're like in real life she is who she is and her personality is so bum. And even Lil Duval was like, them females be rapping about being hood and stuff but they just be rapping. He was like, nah, Sexy Red really with the hood stuff. And I just think she's, she's different. Now, I'm not saying she's the lyric lyric what is the word lyric is this lyric she's not the yeah rapper of the year but i like her little vibe like her little stuff be catchy right <laughs> but um girl this man out of my tail but yeah i really really like y'all hear my voice you can hear him on camera come on little boys y'all gatorades um she's just her true authentic self and i just really really like her little self and then what, let me tell you what trips me out them glasses, bro. She gonna have them glasses on. You hear me? I mean, sis can't see, but like anybody else who went got through some contacts by now. Nah, sexy red said, Give me my glasses. You think I'm sexy? I turn you on. <laughs> sexy. I love her. Oh, she got y'all. Talking about some her booty hole brand. Boy, that song is, a, is catchy. Now you can't stop. Let me get out and get these donuts for my daddy. He won't donuts, y'all. And y'all, my daddy was sad. My daddy has been sad. If you watched last week, I went to my aunt's funeral. And then his church done started the freaking drama. Yeah, I done cussed everybody out on Facebook. See, the, the Lord is not done with me because what you're not going to do is play with my daddy. Let me tell y'all what they did. My daddy has been going to his church for over 50 years. They threw some little um surprise program Sunday evening. Keep in mind, my daddy had been at his sister funeral all Saturday went to church sunday morning got back up and went saturday evening because they had a surprise program where they was honoring all the men at the church and then honor my daddy it had the nerve to tell him ask him could he do a welcome 
Some lady who just been going there two years. Oh, I snap. I said, send that motherfucker to my inbox. I'm with the shits. I, I, I'm sorry. The Lord ain't through with me yet. He ain't through with you yet either. Because why did you do that? Like, my daddy could have really stayed at home. Like, that. Re my daddy do so much for his church. Oh, my gosh. That ran me so hard. I said, send her to my inbox. I just need to know why. I need to know why. And everybody was in my inbox trying to explain to my... It was for the deacons and your daddy a pa Send her to my inbox because I want to know what was her mother then go ask my daddy to do the welcome. So my daddy was in the room sad yesterday and I'm, I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, he grieving, he grieving. And I was like, get up out the bed, come on, eat or something. And he, I was like, what's wrong with you? And he told me what happened. Boy, it ran me so hot because imagine grieving your sister. And I mean, he was really, really close to my aunt. Grieving your sister and then they call you to church and pull that stunt. I said, I would have started flipping bitches over in that mother. Lord, I'm... That's that's why, yeah, yeah. I need to do better, but why would you do my daddy like that? Then I told I ain't taking shit down on Facebook. Don't tell me to delete nothing. I'm grown. I just pulled up at any random shop because I'm just getting my toes painted. But I didn't tell y'all that one of my toenails came off. Be careful with that gel polish. This is not the first time this has happened to me. Oh, toenail off, y'all. So maybe I shouldn't get gel. I will show y'all. I'm just gonna show y'all. I don't care. This toenail right here. There is not a toenail right here. This is skin. What the what? See how the other ones look? That's not a toenail. But we done switched over to the never fool and then let me go and put this down bianca in here because i love this let's see how much left oh we still got quite a few in there so yeah this week's tray was jumping well this vlog <laughs> here go frank y'all since y'all gotta see him every blog look mm -mm, you can't go with me boy boy come on it's your grandma. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Yeah. I mean, boy. <laughs> Start doing tricks for some food. So Maya's redoing her hair. She's doing a great job. They're almost done. And leave her until about to do her nails. Now, I done told the lady at the nail shop to call me if she got some availabilities. And I ain't even been checking my phone. Now, ain't nobody call me. Galveston call. Oh, that ain't no miss call. Ain't nobody call me. So, I use my handy dandy file from Amazon. This is a new one because I was showing y'all one one time before and it kept going out. I will link this one below. And I'm putting on one of, I'm putting on these for one of you guys. We're gonna go nude this trip because most of my stuff is like nudie. Well no it ain't, but I just want something that's gonna go with everything. I tried to just give me a basic pink and white plain set today, but the lady act like she was so booked that was doing my toes and she fit me in. And so I was just like I'll go home and put on some press on. So, I'm gonna do my nails. Girl, what? Girl, get up under this cap. Happy you grew back. There you have it. Beautiful. I'm watching Sharika B, y'all. I just watched her brother Ryan video, and they both went to the Bahamas, and I like to watch different angles. I, yeah, okay. 
but they turned. Funny, hair is done. Water wave. That was the look child. I did this makeup in literally like five minutes. Just to do the intro and outro for this hair. Then I just want to thank Sephora <laughs> because I never knew the whole time the only thing wrong with my face is I needed some moisture. And their machine analyze your skin and tell you what it need. Look, it look like I got glass motherfucking skin. Huh. All right, guys, we're rolling out. I have on this dress from Shein. If y'all can see me. I'm going to just put on Yara. She said I smelled really good in this the other day. I have on these shoes. Nicole said they don't match y'all. They from Coach. <laughs> and then I'm going to put on my prescribed glasses from Lynn Smart. I'm just going to take this brown pair in case one day I don't feel like putting my contacts on. And I'm gonna take this because it's similar to my skin tone, so it will match everything. But I am gonna switch those out to my bling glasses. So, so I'm <laughs> All I see is orange. <laughs> my baby's face. All, all they doing that out. Guys, we came to the Hampton Inn. If you guys didn't know, on this strip, these rooms are super expensive. Thanks to one of you guys. Um, I'm here, and it's very, 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 very reasonable. Would like a little bit more pizzazz, but you can't complain. The rooms with the pizzazz, three, four hundred a night, and we just here to leave. Girl, this one all up under my dress. Got a little hot tub. So this is my little feed, y'all. Nicole said it don't match. Shoe said it match. Nicole said it don't. It, it very much matches. 
Show the people your braids you stayed up all yesterday doing. Mm -hmm. Should have did me some, honey. <laughs> I made, look how big my parts are. I'm so ready to get done. <laughs> well, it served its purpose. What about to go eat? Where about to eat at? Tacos. Yeah. Mm -mm. Let me show you all some. Let me hear you. Oh, wow. Let's do this. Oh, we might need to go against the lights. No, let me show y'all. This is going to be me on that cruise. What's the song they going to play when we leave? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I ain't stopping her this time either. <laughs> I told Nicole I'd go back and get my free water mm -hmm, per day. Uh, but thank you kindly. What? She's gonna practice it. Y'all want me to embarrass y'all? She saw something on TikTok. What is it, sugar? People be leaving money in the Bibles. Yeah. To see if people read the Bible. There ain't no money in her. <laughs> Let them use you. <laughs> so it wasn't quite chicken time. They don't allow chicken in the floor. But I got the digital key on my phone. So we just brought our little bags up and we about to go look at the beach and find something to eat. It looked like it was a lot of uh it looked like they done set up chairs and stuff out there now. Did y'all see that? We came on the Joe's. I was trying to find somewhere local, but gotta go where the masses won't. I'm about to come up out my dress, y'all. It's too hot out here. And humid. Let's see, y'all. I got some lunch. Dish. Baby, no, man. Look at the camera. It's this hot. It's this hot. <laughs> Uh, okay, give me a second, y'all. <laughs> y'all, that food is too nasty. One out of ten. Let me tell y'all what happened. First of all, her fish was raw. Oh, we blurred again, but just listen to me, y'all. Nicole fish was raw, so they had to take her whole meal off. My dip was cold. I only had dip. They brought it a second time, and it just wasn't dipping. Should like her nachos, in you? Yeah, they were good. It was just a little skimpy on the top. Uh, but you need to get your shrimp. And then I ordered a side of shrimp, never got it. He gonna say we're gonna take that out. You have no choice. I never got it. <laughs> what if I end up at Popeye's? Half. We're walking, trying to catch the beach. I love the camera. It's too big, and I, uh, uh, I would hate to drop it. I'll be too mad. Right here, though. Our room is not, like, right off the beach. What are those? <laughs> We're here, guys. Should have had to change batteries 50,000 times. Y'all Sony lovers. That's why I went back to the can and that bitch stay charged. Oh, uh -uh. oh, she drunk? Is she okay? Girl, they ain't even concerned. They looking at me. Y'all looking at me and y'all sister something done fell out. Yes. Like she my mama. Give me your hand. <laughs> Hold on. This light is beautiful right here. Oh. Is that 
a phone? She just left her phone up there. I didn't know. I said, huh? What? I want to come to the beach, but then get in the beach. But you want me to swim? Yep, okay, go so ahead. I'm put, I put you in the swimming class at our excursion. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, this lady passed out or something. What she do? She fell out of chair? Yeah, like she fell out of chair. I got it on camera too. <laughs> I wasn't trying to. And her family was too busy looking at me. I'm like. Today was sunny, guys. Guys, he's still close. Snickers blast. Thank you. Thank you. Cheese stock. Not bad, still. <laughs> and there's a fork in the side for you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.